Throughout my rather long career, I've been very fortunate to have people show me things and, and uh, give me the opportunity to find out how things can work and how they shouldn't work. Long, long time ago, I used to play the trombone uh, very incorrectly, and I used to breathe up here and not use the bottom part of my body. I was taught by watching people, great players, Maynard Ferguson and many, many other great brass players, that the bottom part of the body, down in here, the diaphragm, the stomach, the energy right down here is collected down this part of the body and in the back as well. So the breath and breathing is the most important factor in making the trombone work properly. I'll show you what I mean. A deep breath should look like this. I'll give you a side view. So the air, in fact, I call it energy or air, goes in through the mouth down to here and fills this up. It looks something like this. In this way, it's possible to play long phrases and to control the sound to the very end. I'll show you what I mean acoustically. I'm not a masochist, <laughs> but by hitting my stomach with this lower part of my diaphragm, you could see that the support was there, and it allowed me to play the high F with confidence and without the sound wobbling. Even though I was hitting myself in the stomach, I wouldn't try this if I were you, but it is lots of fun if you can do it. it makes a wonderful product trick too, by the way. I hope you notice when I'm playing these exercises that there's always the breath is taken in and there's a slight pause before the note comes out. I'll show you what I mean. What happens is the air comes in, the energy comes in the body, positive thoughts, there's a time about the size of a half a second, where all of this energy is collected inside the body, the intention is there, the attitude is there, and beautiful sound comes out the trombone.